Hello, and on behalf of the Student Health Education and Compliance Office, I want to give you a warm welcome to Creighton University and this wonderful community that we are so privileged to be a part of. Today we're going to talk a little bit about resources that will be available, that are available to help you uh, stay well, be healthy, learn how to make good choices, and ultimately all of this will lead to great success during your time here at Creighton. So my name is Angela Maynard, I'm a registered nurse, and along with Dr. Carrie Horty, the Director of the Student Health Education and Compliance Office, also serving as the Medical Director of the CHI Health Clinic Student Care Clinic, my colleague Jenny Bragg, also a registered nurse and the Assistant Director for Immunization and Compliance, we again want to welcome you to Creighton University. Now we know that the US healthcare system is very complex and the COVID pandemic has made it that much more challenging to navigate. So our office is here to help you. If you're coming to Creighton and you have underlying health issues, diabetes, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, um, ADHD, you know, anything like that, um, we highly recommend that you consider transitioning care to Omaha. Now, parents, you're not going to want to hear this, but once your student starts college, the fact of the matter is they're going to be at college more than they're going to be at home. That's hard to hear, but I think that they will find Creighton to be a wonderful home as well. And that's a good thing. So we really want to make sure that they have excellent support systems in place here in Omaha. So our office can assist with transitioning any medical care to the Omaha area. We can work with the CHI Health Clinic, Student Care Clinic to assist in navigating the healthcare system in Omaha, um, providing referrals for specialty care. And uh, if there's an ongoing issue that your student is gonna need support for, once they sign a release of information at the CHI Student Care Clinic, um, we can move forward in working with other campus partners to really create a safety net for success for your student. When I talk about other campus partners, the Health Education and Compliance Department frequently interfaces with enrollment management, the admissions team, uh, the director of retention. We work very closely with the team in the Department of Residential Living, and we work closely with disability services, as well as lots of faculty, associate deans, assistant deans, and deans of the various colleges around campus. Again, to help create a safety net that's going to help you succeed, even though you may encounter a bump in the road here and there. So what happens if you get sick or you have an injury while you're here on campus? What kind of resources are available? Well, I'm happy to report that there's some form of help available 24 seven. We have a wonderful campus health aid program where several undergraduate students with training in first aid, basic life support, some are EMTs, some are already paramedics, work very closely with our office they're dispatched through public safety. And if your student has an illness or injury after hours, they can contact public safety. Public safety will dispatch one of our campus health aides to your student. So what does that mean? That means our campus health aides make house calls. There is no charge for the house call. So the campus health aides will respond with their duty bag that contains multiple assessment tools, first aid supplies, some over-the-counter medicines, and some prescription medicines. The campus health aides are in touch with an on-call medical provider on every visit that they make. They complete a report. That report comes 
to the Student Health Education and Compliance Office and your student will receive a follow-up call the next day from one of our registered nurses. It is our goal to make sure that our students are either well on the road to recovery, receiving any follow-up care that they may need, and in the event that they have to make a trip to the emergency department and follow up care from that is recommended, we're gonna help them access that care and just kind of walk them through that process. Now, if your student runs into a problem and does have to be taken to the emergency department, please know that they're not gonna go this alone. The resident directors typically accompany a student to the emergency department Although many times our students make fast friends when they're here at Creighton and their community they will find out really cares deeply for them very quickly. And many times when a student has to go to the emergency department, they have several friends who want to accompany them. Now we're gonna have to see what the guidelines look like as far as additional people going to emergency departments in the coming months but just know that there will be support available for your student should they have to seek emergency care. We have wonderful partners in the Department of Public Safety. Our officers help transport our students over for clinic visits. If the student is too ill or injured and doesn't have a form of transportation to get over there, public safety will if need be. Um, if a student is having difficulty during the nighttime and the decision is that they need to go to the emergency department, if the student is able to safely ambulate um, and they're stable, uh, the public safety officers will take them over to the emergency department as opposed to calling EMS. Mental health emergencies are common in our college population and one way to access help after hours also is to contact the campus health aid. Between the campus health aid and the resident director, the on-call counselor can be contacted and assist with mental health situations that occur after hours. Now let's talk about the CHI Health Clinic Student Care Clinic. This is where your student will go if they become sick or injured. Dr. Horty, leads a staff of other physicians, nurse practitioners, and physician's assistants in providing excellent care for our students. The Student Care Clinic is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mondays through Thursdays and 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays. Now we encourage students to always schedule appointments when possible. That's a great life skill to learn and we want to help them learn that. That being said, situations come up where a student really does need to be seen in a more urgent manner. And so the student care clinic does accommodate walk-in and same-day appointments. Telehealth visits are also an option. There is an emergency department located in the CHI building that is just adjacent to campus where the student health clinic is located. One thing I wanna mention is you know, emergency departments really should be reserved for emergency life-threatening situations. It is always a good idea to try to receive care from your primary care provider first. We are very fortunate in that our primary care clinic and the emergency department are in the same building. So if your student starts with an appointment with a primary care provider and that provider decides that the student needs a higher level of care, it's very simple to transfer that student from the clinic right downstairs to the emergency department so that they can easily access that higher level of care. So you may want to have a conversation with your student about number one, accessing a campus health aid. Number two, making sure to seek care at the clinic first as opposed to just going to the emergency department for non- life-threatening, non-urgent issues. It is very expensive to seek care in an emergency department. The last resource that's available in the CHI Medical Building at 24th and Coming is the Creighton Pharmacy. 
Now we're really blessed that we have a wonderful pharmacy in this building located so close to campus. It's run by an outstanding staff of pharmacies, pharmacists and pharmacy technicians. This staff takes wonderful care of our students. I highly recommend transferring any prescription needs to Creighton's Pharmacy. You can do that very easily by making a phone call to the pharmacy and they'll walk, walk you through that. And that number is 402-449-4560. They can provide a number of prescription medicines and they do have a supply of over-the-counter first aid supplies, medicines, things like that, uh, that you can access in a pharmacy. The nice thing is their prices are generally lower than what you'll find out in the community. And then when your student identifies as a Creighton student, they get another 10% discount. Now, should your student be prescribed a medicine that is quite expensive and there would be a significant out-of-pocket cost, even after insurance, the staff at Creighton's Pharmacy does a marvelous job of finding rebates, discount cards, coupons, patient assistance programs, you name it, they will do whatever they can to help students afford any necessary medicine. Campus Health Education is another initiative that falls under the purview of our office. So, we provide health education and wellness information to students as they learn to adult, if you will. Our campus health aides are integral in the presentations of those programs. We work very hard uh, with other campus partners to plan WellFest, which is an annual campus health fair that is held in the fall. We bring a variety of vendors in from outside and there's a wealth of information at this event, everything from healthy eating, exercising, vision care, dental care, the importance of blood donation. Sometimes we have bone marrow drives. There's just, the, the possibilities are endless really with WellFest. One of the things that the students really enjoy is that we usually have a visit from a group that brings therapy dogs to campus so they can get a little TLC from their furry friends at that event as well. Our Shoe the Flu campaign usually kicks off around the time of WellFest and Shoe the Flu is our campus initiative to prevent, protect our community from influenza. Now, you've heard so much these past months in the news about the importance of a vaccine for coronavirus. Well, we already have a vaccine for influenza, and that's something that's gonna be an important tool that we have in our arsenal as we try to stay well coming into the fall months. So there will be campus clinics available for students to walk in, receive their flu vaccine, it will be well publicized, it's free, now you might say, or your student might say, well, I don't get the flu. I've never had a flu shot. I don't need a flu shot. I would highly recommend that they get a flu shot this year. You know, they're gonna be living with a community of people and our students are notorious for not getting enough sleep and really burning the candle at both ends, which can make them more susceptible to infection. So we really want them to take advantage of our free flu vaccine clinics so that they can be well and continue on their path to academic success. Now we know our college students are a very unique population with very special needs. And so we really try to tailor all of our education to the needs and wants of our student population. Now let's talk about compliance a little bit. Health insurance is a university requirement at many institutions of higher education, and Creighton is no different. Creighton University does have a requirement for all full-time students to have a comprehensive health insurance plan that covers them for the entire academic year. So what does this look like? Well, full-time students are enrolled 
in the university health insurance program unless they complete a waiver. The, the waiver must be completed each year. The waiver table will open on June 1st and will be open through July 15th. So as students are preparing to come to college, it's gonna be important that you check with your current insurance carrier and see if your insurance carrier, your plan meets the following criteria. There are four pieces that must be achieved in order for compliance to be reached. Number one is national coverage for inpatient and outpatient medical care. Number two is national coverage for inpatient and outpatient mental health care. Number three is that the coverage is currently active and will be maintained for the entire academic year and for summer. And number four is the plan must offer an unlimited lifetime maximum. So why do we have this requirement? Well, Consider it another layer of protection for the investment that you're making in your education or your student's education. We don't want students to forego health care because it's not affordable. We don't want them to end up facing financial disaster because they had an illness or an accident occur. And get to the point where they would have to um, take time out of school because they could not afford to continue to go to school because of these monumental health care costs. So please take some time to look over the insurance requirement web page. There's a lot of good information there. Um, I do want to point out the importance of national coverage for inpatient and outpatient medical and mental health care. Now, if your student is at Creighton and they're covered by an insurance plan that does not provide national coverage, but maybe provides emergency coverage only, that doesn't satisfy the university's requirement, and this is why. Say your student is in the KFC playing intramural basketball and they go down with a leg injury and they can't bear weight you know, they're hurting pretty bad. So the decision is that they go to the emergency department to be checked. And so they go to the emergency department and it's determined that they have a fracture in their leg. And it's a fracture that has to be repaired surgically. So you now have a student that's been in the emergency department. They may have an orthopedic specialist come into the emergency department to see them. They are going to be admitted to the hospital while they wait to have surgery, probably the next day, to fix the fracture in their leg. They may spend a day or two in the hospital after that, and then they're discharged. And so they recover, but during their recovery period, they need to have some follow-up with the orthopedic surgeon. And when their cast comes off, they need to follow up with physical therapy. So in that scenario, if your plan does not provide national coverage and provides emergency coverage only, the trip to the emergency department is likely the only piece of that entire scenario that would be covered. Best case, your insurance company says, we'll cover the rest of it, but we'll cover it as out of network. That's still so much more expensive than using an in-network provider. So again, why do we have this requirement? We want to protect our students and their families and the investment that you're putting into your education. Now, another piece of compliance that the Student Health Education and Compliance Office deals with is the immunization requirements. Again, the safety of our Creighton community and our students is paramount. And you've probably already submitted some immunizations and supporting documentation. If you haven't, you're going to be doing that. <laughs> it's an important thing. Um, every student that comes to Creighton has some kind of an immunization requirement. And when you enter that immunization information, 
along with any other onboarding that might be needed for any other academic program. You know, some, some clinical sites require urine drug testing, some require HIPAA training, uh, some require um, vulnerable adult training. You know, there, there's a wealth of requirements depending on your student's program of study that they may need outside of the university. So the Creighton Health and Immunization Requirements Portfolio, affectionately known as CHIRP report, is a place where all of this information is stored and archived. So your student has easy access to this information at any time by logging into the Birdhouse Student Portal. When students are ready to graduate, they have everything in one place. They can print a copy and take it on to their next um, opportunity with them. Now, the CHIRP report is available to students and the health science clinical coordinators also have access to the CHIRP report. And the reason for this is because those clinical coordinators are really going to be important in keeping your student on track and making sure that they are checking all of their requirement boxes for their particular program of study. So that's the Birdhouse and the Creighton Health and Immunization Requirements Portfolio Information, also known as CHIRP. And Jenny Bragg and I are really excited to get your student to campus and meet you all. There is wonderful resource available to help keep your students safe and well while they're here at Creighton. Most of these resources can be accessed by calling one phone number. So take a minute, get your phone out, have your students get their phone out, and add this number to your contacts. 402-280-2800. When the student calls that number, they'll have several options. They're able to schedule an appointment at the CHI Health Clinic Student Care Clinic. They're able to schedule a counseling appointment. And they can get to Jenny or I so that we can assist them with any billing questions that they might have, student insurance questions, healthcare coordination, immunization compliance, and if they have any ideas for health education programs, we'd love to hear from them. We really want to work with our students in providing what they need. So again, welcome to Creighton and do not hesitate to reach out. It will be our privilege to help your students as they travel their path at Creighton University. Thank you.